Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, what we're going to do today, this is the fifth episode of Marketing Mix Modeling and we are doing and we will create a simulator, a predictive simulator or a forecaster, whatever you want to call it, uh, on our sales. So we want to predict how many sales we're going to have based on how much we spend on each channel and we want to find the simulation and the budget distribution that is going to minimize our cost per order. So let's dive in and I'm going to create a new sheet. Call it simulator. Super excited for this episode. All right. So the first thing we need is get our coefficient. So I'm going to copy this part and I'm going to go to here, copy a uh, paste, sorry, uh, pay special just values. All right, I'm gonna color it with yellow. Is the R square obviously? Um, all right, so the first part of my simulator will be something like this equal this, this one. Then I'm gonna paste it. These are my coefficients. So these are the values I'm going to multiply my input uh, hypothesis on how much I'm going to spend on each variable. And I'm going to multiply them first. Uh, I'm going to transform them and then I'm going to multiply it. So I need these, these variables, obviously. I'm going to color it in yellow again. Then I want uh, beta and alpha. Then regression transformed. Perfect. Simulator. All right. These ones. Perfect. Here I'm gonna do transform transformed. I'm gonna have all my variables transformed with the same function that we used before. Here we're gonna have averages. So you remember that uh, the add stock formula. It was add stock at time t minus one uh, plus times beta plus spent at time t. So what we want to have, we have, we want to have an average of the ad stock in the past five days, and I'm gonna add it so we can have a really accurate, a, a really accurate transformation here. We, also with ad stock. So actually, I don't need the average. I, I'll need just the last day. So I'm gonna co just copy this one. So equal regression regression transformed. I'm gonna have this ones. Oh, sorry, this ones. Oh no, right. So this is, it's reverse. So I'm gonna start from here. This is radio. This is TV. And this is Facebook. Remember that uh, the output of the regression analysis, it's uh, inverted. So the order of coefficients and variables, it's inverted here. So be careful on that. Uh, okay, this one's uh, input. I'm gonna color it with green. This is how much uh, I'm gonna spend on each channel. I'm gonna do I don't know, 10, 10, 10, perfect. Transformed. Do this. I'm gonna add a little space in here. Okay. Transformation is gonna be equal. Upper, open parentheses. Um, add stock at time t minus one times beta plus how much we want to spend right now. Close parentheses to the power of alpha. This is my function. I'm gonna drag it here. Transformed here is this is always one, needs to be always one. And then we're gonna measure what is our contribution. So contribution, sorry. Okay. Contribution equal. So this is the transformed. I'm gonna color it like all right, orange. Contribution, something more important. And it's going to be the transformed variable. 
this one times its coefficient. Perfect. I'm gonna drag it. Perfect. I'm gonna color it, color it with light yellow. And what we're gonna have here is sales prediction. It's gonna be just the sum of this row. So I'm gonna sum this row, close parenthesis. I'm gonna have, if I spend $30, 1.5 sales. Let's see how much is the cost. My advertising cost are, is gonna be a sum of this row, the input variables, close parenthesis, perfect. I'm gonna spend $30. And my cost per order, CPO, is gonna be, as we see, uh, cost divided by sales prediction. All right, we're gonna have a CPO of, let's do number, perfect, of $19.55. So if we increase TV, for example, let's see, if I want to spend $30, ooh, my CPO decreases a lot. Let's do the same thing with Facebook. I want to do $30 with Facebook. It increases a little. Let's do 20, okay. I want to spend, well, I understand that I can spend way more on TV. So I'm gonna do uh, four, $60, perfect. Let's do 60, 70, all right, 90. Let's do 120, all right. I'm gonna do spend this much, increase a little. And if I decrease this one, let's do I do one dollar spent. Ooh, wow. Yeah, because a radio in this case has a negative impact, so I'm gonna drop zero here. And it is gonna be my prediction. So the best ratio I get from this is spending most of my money on TV, a little on Facebook, and I'm gonna get a CPO of seven point fifty three, nineteen dollars, and a cost of one hundred fifty. In this way, I can simulate and play a little on the various scenarios and I understand how to distribute my advertising budget. Hope this tutorial was useful. Obviously, the link on, of this, um, of this uh, template, you, you're gonna find it in the description. If you have any question at all, just write in the comment. I'm gonna be super happy to respond to everyone. And in the next episode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leverage um, some trick in Excel and not in Google Sheet to create an automatic optimizer of our budget. So I'm gonna I, I'm gonna show you there, there is a, a little trick called Solver in the in the Excel platform that we can use in order to create a, a semi-automatic budget allocator that uses AI. So see you in the next episode. Bye.